So for those of you that don't know me, I grew up as the daughter of a narcissistic mother. And if you don't know much about being raised by narcissists, it does a lot of fucked up shit to your head. And like, you don't even realize it. I think that's the most fucked up part of it is you grow up thinking all these weird things are just normal because that's how you were raised. And you feel crazy for feeling like they're fucked up at all. <laughs> And, um, so I've, you know, I've been going through a lot of healing work since I first discovered what narcissistic personality was, uh, narcissistic personality disorder, excuse me, was, and that was about six years ago or so, and, like, realizing that other people went through similar things was this huge, like, mind opener for me, and, uh, I've been doing a lot of therapy and healing work this year and since starting that process I have noticed that I have a lot of moments where I'll be thinking about my childhood and I'll just be like wow wait that's that's not normal that's pretty fucked up that's because of this which is this this weird disordered thinking pattern that the person who raised me had and it just it really like it should be child abuse to be a narcissist and raise children because it is a mind fuck, really. Like, <laughs> and um, yeah. So I was having one of those uh, moments tonight because, uh, as you guys probably see from my Facebook, I love cooking and I like trying new recipes and I really love cooking for other people because it's just awesome sharing yummy food <laughs> with folks. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I was making dinner tonight, and I was having fun making it, and, uh, you know, it, it was my first time making my own chicken noodle soup from scratch, so it was pretty cool, but, uh, you know, there's always room for improvement, especially with food. <laughs> but, um, I was thinking about how my mom made dinner for everyone my whole life, you know, every night, and... It was this weird, like, unspoken rule where you had to tell her that it was good. Because if you said anything other than this is the best food I've ever eaten, she would take it very personally and she would literally treat you differently if you didn't like her food that night. She'd be very rude and make passive aggressive remarks and, like, that's not, that's not normal. Like, <laughs> that is not what a mother cooking for her family should do that's not how people should behave that is weird and like if you're cooking for people I think it should be because you want to feed them right like that seems simple enough and if you want to feed them you want to make things that taste good for them you don't want to make them suffer through terrible food <laughs> like that's just... and you know and we all should be able to realize that we're not going to be some amazing chef the first time we cook something, or even the hundredth time we cook something, you know, we have to be looking for ways to improve if we want to improve, and yeah, I don't know, that was just a weird moment in my life that I wanted to share with people, and maybe I'll talk more about growing up with a narcissistic parent, because it has been something that's been in my world all <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, awareness of it has been a recent thing, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's nice when you can finally see that you're not the only person that has been through weird situations like that, like, being raised by someone who has this almost delusional view of themselves, and you're crazy if you don't see it too, <laughs> like, and... Yeah, it does a lot of a lot of mental damage, but it is possible to recover from it. And, you know, I think it's I'm learning to take this as a blessing to find wisdom in situations a lot of people deal with with no insight and that makes it even harder to deal with. So random thought. I hope this can help someone or someone who has grown up with a narcissistic parent can relate to it and feel a little less alone out there.